All right, uh, family workshop is a disaster as usual, but uh, I got a request for a video on how you do the periodic error correction in on step. And uh, I'll go over guiding too because they're kind of tied in. Um, <clears throat> I've got on step running, tracking. Make sure you've got tracking enabled. See tracking on, PPS sync, RA refraction enabled. Um, so you set up like normal, get your guiding going. Uh, you need to be guiding to record your periodic error correction. Um, because OnStep reads the signals that PHD2 is sending. It reads the, uh, the pulse guiding commands and uh, then uses that to calculate what the periodic error correction buffer should be. And uh, you see this this guide window tab. This is how you set your guiding speed. I'm I'm just on the web server now. 192.168.0.1. This is the uh, the on step web server, and uh, this is your guide speed. And this is percent of sidereal. You know I don't know how to pronounce that word. Sidereal. Sidereal. Sid sidereal. Okay. Espen says it's sidereal. But uh, so one time speed means it will move the mount at sidereal time. Half speed is obviously half sidereal and a quarter sidereal. And then mid and f fast and very fast. You uh, this is just for moving the mount. <coughs> we can set it to very fast, and then that slews the mount. Okay, get your thumb out of the way, please. So I normally guide at half side aerial speed, 0.5. Um, you don't, if you're using periodic cor error correction, you don't want to use full speed because you can send a full speed pulse and then you can get a periodic error correction pulse and refraction pulse and they can all add up and uh, open up the backlash in your right ascension. So you don't ever want to use uh, full speed guiding if you're doing periodic error correction and a refraction compensation so mo at the most go with half speed so you get your guiding going at half speed um, now I connect via the path hub you can see I'm already connected here path hub ASCOM and that's how I connect to OnStep Go ahead and disconnect and quickly go into the settings here. Go set up. This opens up the OnStep ASCOM dialog. You can either connect via COM port or IP address. I always use IP address. So you get a you get PHD2 connected to OnStep. And then you start guiding. Get your guiding going. And then you will want, once you're guiding, you go into PEC, periodic error correction. Yeah, but not right now. I'm recording a video, buddy. And then you have if you've got an index sensor, you gotta wait for that to come around. And then you just hit record and it'll start recording the guiding pulse commands getting sent to the mount by PHD2 and uh, you have to record a full cycle whatever your buffer is my buffer is eight minutes long it takes eight minutes for a worm wheel rotation um, so it'll record a full sequence and then it'll automatically start playing and when it starts playing it'll start sending back commands to the mount to account for the periodic error correction now your first time through you're gonna have a lot of a lot of uh, noise in it a lot of errors like wind you know just imperfections in guiding it won't strictly be the periodic error correction curve so once you do a session of recording and it starts playing just hit record again and uh, I usually do three or four sessions of a recording to train it up and that will really smooth out your periodic error curve because every time if there's already a 
a periodic error curve in your buffer as you record a new session it averages it averages the new corrections in with the old at a, at a three to one ratio it, your original buffer is the three the new data is the one so as you add more and more sessions of recording it starts to average it out and it really isolates exactly the periodic error and gets rid of the noise from getting bumped by wind or vibrations in the mount and uh, after you get it after you train up a few sessions you know get four or five under under your belt then you'll just play it and it will automatically send those periodic error corrections back to the mount and if you're happy with the way it's acting at the end of your session hit right to EEPROM right here this button and that will write your data to non-volatile memory inside of the OnStep system as long as you've you know your battery's good in there it will it'll save that curve and then load it back up through a power cycle and you just hit play again next time please stop that um now Howard has a program called Sky Planetarium here that's got tools in it periodic error tools that are good for visualization you can see the tracking rate and it'll, it'll actually show a visualization of your periodic error curve and you can use controls here to record playback or clear if you're not happy with the way the curve is going and then as it's playing you can actually watch it change your tracking right here watch your uh, your pulse rate for your tracking please don't bump that buddy and then you can write to EEPROM you can also export your periodic error curve and then you could smooth it out in programs like PEC prep and then import it back in and it'll load it back into your mount um, but yeah it's, it's a pretty simple concept and I've had a lot of luck with it so far I've got this this like chunk in my worm wheel that always sends my guiding off and this uh this periodic error pulse really not really smooths that out and makes my guiding better when it gets to that point in the worm, in the worm wheel so it, it works really well um, if you've got any questions, leave comments, and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.